I was formerly of the opinion that Celestial didn't really work on everything even though it was really good, after the buff to it of course, but after some theory crafting, some of the classes that I thought Celestial didn't work on, seems like they can. So this is going to be a Celestial Warrior build, and the thing that you need for any build to work with Celestial is you need the boon duration, the healing power, and you need the condition damage and the power parts of the build to get used. So basically make use of all the stats to at least some extent. Now on a warrior, it's kind of hard to get healing power coefficients and boon duration to really work. But on this build, I am making use of that. So I use full celestial with rune of aristocracy, which will give you might whenever you inflict weakness on an enemy which you'll be getting from one of the traits we'll be talking about later. On the Sword Sword, I am actually using Trailblazer because I didn't have Celestial Swords, but yeah, you should just be using Celestial there. But uh, Sigil of Cleansing and Sigil of Energy, you'll be using this to kite. And then on the Longbow, I am using Torment and Doom because Torment is gonna give you more conditions and so is Doom, so it's more cover conditions. This build has access to quite a few conditions and despite the build not having a lot of like burst condition potential it has a lot of cover conditions to allow those damaging conditions to stick for the traits i take strength discipline spellbreaker in strength you're going to be using peak performance because you'll be using mending for condition cleanse and you'll be using bulls charge and stomp as well so those are really good cc's that are going to work well with Body Blow. So Body Blow is going to give you weakness and one stack of bleeding whenever you stun someone or do some kind of hard CC. And this is really good because not only will the weakness give you Aristocracy Rune procs, which will give you Might, but also that Might will give you healing. So you have Might Makes Right, which is going to give you around 100 healing every time you gain one stack of might so every time you land a cc that's going to give you 500 healing because it's going to give you five stacks of might so it's a decent amount of sustain just from using full counter like every eight seconds if it actually goes off and you cc someone and just the fact that you're putting on weakness and bleeding gives you most of your cover conditions on this build so it's really strong and then in discipline I am using Warrior Sprint because Crack Shot doesn't really allow you to remove Immobilize. This is something that Warriors really love. It's hard to get out of using Warrior Sprint, so I am using that. And then obviously Brawler's Recovery for a more Condition Cleanse and Burst Mastery because that'll give you a little bit more adrenaline to spam out your full counters and your burst skills. And then in Spellbreaker, you have the option to go for Guard Counter or No Escape. No Escape is a little bit better in 1v1 situations because it allows you to land your damage. But in outnumbered situations, Guard Counter can be really good because the boon duration allows you to get 4 seconds of protection every time you successfully full counter. So if you full counter off cooldown, because full counter is a about 9 second cooldown, you'll have a little bit less than a 50% protection uptime. So yeah, you're going to have a lot of damage reduction against power, especially because you already have a decent amount of toughness from Celestial. Then whenever you CC someone, you'll not only give them weakness and bleeding, but you'll also be removing boons. So boon removal is pretty good. And whenever you land your full counter, you'll be giving out about three seconds of slow and cripple. And then you'll also copy three conditions on yourself and give them to all enemies that you hit with your full counter. So if you think about this, so every time I use full counter and I CC someone, I'll give weakness and bleeding, that's two conditions. I'll give them cripple and slow, that's four conditions, and then I'll potentially give them three more, so potentially up to seven conditions. I mean, obviously there'll be some overlap with this uh, trait, but yeah, you can see there's gonna be a lot of cover content. 
and that can get your longbow skills which do burning to actually stick and that's where a lot of your damage will come from. So first and foremost, you need to know how to survive on any build. So here's a situation where I'm going to be chased by quite a few players. I use the full counter to counter pressure a little bit and then I swap the sword to kite. The thieves are chasing very aggressively and the only way to survive a thief really is to counter pressure them and get them to get off you because if they can just use all of their initiative aggressively then it's you know you're just gonna get run down you can't outrun a thief but if they use their initiative to chase you like that and you bait them like i've done here they use their initiative and then you turn on them and then you can immediately pressure them and if they have no cooldowns because they use them to chase you you can easily get the kill so even though the build can't survive being you know chased down by you know like five people you know it can survive in a 1v2 and counter pressure very well so here is a group fight that will devolve down into a 1v1 situation. But for now, I am just trying to use my full counter as often as possible to hit as many people as possible because in those large group fights, you'll often get a lot of conditions on you and then transferring them back is going to provide a lot of counter pressure for you and your allies. So in the 1v1 now against the Fireweaver, I'm playing very aggressively because I know that if they put conditions on me, I can full counter them and transfer them back as you can see. And then I land a very big bulls charge into my fan of fire, final thrust, and that finishes it off. So in this 1v1, I'm going against a soul beast. It's a very tanky build, so it's going to be hard for me to actually kill it because a lot of Condi Cleanse is available to them and for me to actually land damage I need to land full counter because that'll put a lot of cover conditions and that will allow my damage to stick, right? So that was a pretty good bulls charge into Fan of Fire there, but um, yeah, not a lot of the damage is sticking. They have the cleanse available to them. I land None of my attacks there because they're using a lot of evades. I do get my full counter into a fan of fire there, which is really good. A lot of that damage actually stuck. So that was a pretty good trade there. I am about ready to use my uh, bursts there. I land my full counter, but they dodge the effects so I don't get any conditions on them. I'm gonna try to immobilize them. They go into their evade. I get a really good stomp precasted and now I'm kiting with my longbow. I do a really good full counter here, but it looks like it actually misses. And yeah, I am taking quite a bit of damage here. I have my full uh, bulls charge ready. I land it into, yeah, they have the uh, lightning reflexes there. I dodge them all and they're getting quite a bit of damage on me. Even though I had a lot of advantage earlier, I am starting to lose now. I go into my sword here and I'm blocking, but yeah, the, the pet is kind of like wailing on me while they're kind of kiting. I do a really good full counter here maybe, no? Um, that would have been a good full counter, but now I land the full counter and the fan of fire and that's gonna be, yeah, that's a lot of damage there. They cleanse it though. And my stomp is whiffed. I do land a really good repost there, which is gonna put a lot of bleeds on them and full counter which covers all of my burn and bleed there, and they eat all of that damage. So yeah, the repost and the fan of fire all got cover condies from my uh, full counter there, which is really good. But if you like this kind of content, then leave a like, subscribe, and check the links in the description if you wanna support me. And I will see you all next time.